We all do that way too much. Guess what? You can get a lot more out of scales than just going up and down in a linear fashion. I've done a bunch of different lessons on how to break out of scale boxes, but you don't always have to break out of scale boxes to get a more interesting sound when it comes to improvising and playing guitar in general. I'm going to introduce a cool little concept that some of you may already employ in your own guitar playing, but if you don't, hey, you're about to learn something new. I'm going to play through what I mean first, and then I'm going to show you how to apply it to whatever scale you want to. <laughs> So the concept is these little descending and ascending patterns that pick and choose notes in a descending or ascending order that is not necessarily your first instinct. At least I would say that's true for most guitar players. Say somebody tells you to play the E minor pentatonic scale, you might do something like this. Which is totally correct, but if you wanted to make that a little bit more interesting, Maybe you try a little descending pattern that displaces those notes and doesn't make them necessarily scalar. So instead of going from one degree to the next, I am skipping that next degree in the sequence to replace it with the second to next degree in the sequence. So if we're on the 15th fret here, instead of going 15-12, we're going 15-15 to the B string. And then we're basically going back to the original note that we would have chosen. And of course there's a variety of different intervals that you can choose to make this more or less busy, if you want to call it that. Uh, for this lesson, I'm just going to show you the grassroots foundation and we'll just keep it to these two strings. So instead of doing something like this, we would instead try something like this. And this is actually a little bit tricky. It's kind of like a jungle gym for your fingers, especially in the picking hand. So it has a little bit of a rub to it. But I like it kind of as more of a fluid motion and a fluid sound. And you'll notice in the fretting hand, I'm kind of rolling my finger from one string to the next. And that is going to help you keep from the strings ringing out too much from note to note. So with the roll, it kind of helps me mute this note that I am coming from. So, so while this finger is pressing down on the E string here on the 15th fret, you'll notice that roll technique where I am pivoting to hit that next note as well as muting that string right there, as you can hear. And the first finger here is actually creating a little bit of a rub, which I said is kind of my style that is happening, but it's very discreet. So you can choose either one completely staccato, no rub, or like I said, kind of halfway in between. And once you get this technique down, you can actually do it to any scale you want to. It doesn't just have to be the minor pentatonic. Let's say you want to take it to the major scale, like a Lydian sound.
So this is just a quick little kind of heads up, you can do this type of lesson. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this expands your vocabulary a little bit if you feel like you've been getting stuck in whatever scale shapes you've been practicing. And until next time, keep shredding.